Now, Beethoven year is almost upon us. We're going to be listening to plenty of recordings of the major works, the sonatas, the symphonies, and so on, the string quartets, of course. And I've been listening in advance of the year to the forte piano recordings of Ronald Brautigam on Bis, the sonatas and the variations, and just recently the piano concertos. Brautigam's second recording of them, the first was on a modern grand, this one is on the forte piano. And they're a bit of a revelation, not only because of the sound of the instrument, but because of Brautigam's playing. Now I say that because it's very easy to fall into cliched opinions about the forte piano, imagining that everybody's going to choose uh, fast tempi, there'll be a uniform approach to the music. That's not so with him. With Brautigam, what you get is a forte piano played by a really fine Beethoven pianist who knows what the music is about. So I want to offer you a few examples of his playing in the recordings for Bis. Uh, just to illustrate how varied the tone of the instrument is. The leather hammers on harpsichord-like strings, as I say, the tone very different to um, a modern grand. Varied in terms of texture, that's the most interesting thing about it. The actual sound of the instrument completely changes according to where the pianist is in the register on the keys, which I find absolutely fascinating, and never more so than in the Tempest Sonata, one of uh, Beethoven's greatest middle period works. So I'm going to first of all play you the end of the first movement, and note in particular the rumbling bass, the way it uh, sounds like the retreating thunder from the pastoral symphony. It is a unique sound, and one that I don't think will be capable uh, on the, you'd be capable of drawing from a modern piano. <laughs> Now that's the end of the first movement of the Tempest Sonata by Beethoven. Now if you go to the end of the second movement there is a similar range of contrast whether playing staccato, whether in the treble register or the bass register, always this variety of sound and under Brautigam with his hands uh, on the keys, perfect pacing, perfect timing, so you really get a, a feeling of the spaciousness of the music, which I think uh, suits this particular uh, sonata and especially the way it's realised on this forte piano. <laughs> You see, even that low, quiet closing note has a texture that is completely different to everything else in the passage. And that, I think, is something that you can only realise on a forte piano. It wouldn't be quite as uh, distinct on a, on a modern grand. Now, next I want to turn to the last piano sonata of all, Opus 111. And famously, in the second movement, Beethoven starts to boogie. Now, that sounds pretty striking on a modern grand, but on a honky-tonk-like forte piano, it sounds even more striking, especially the way Brautigam plays it. <laughs> I think that's going to get rather a lot of airtime in Beethoven year as being a precursor of uh, ragtime and boogie. It is remarkable music, although obviously it's not really what's happening. It's one of those variations, the most striking variations in what's possibly the most uh, original movement in the whole sequence of Beethoven 
sonatas. I must say that uh, Brautigam is also marvellous in the Hammerklavier sonata. The slow movement is virtually as expressive as um, Artya Schnabel's and I'd urge you to listen to that. Now I want to turn to the Diabelli Variations, a fabulous work, maybe the greatest of all uh, Beethoven's piano works, and the end of the piece, or the penultimate variation where a sea of arpeggios leads us to a sort of precipice beyond which we don't know what to expect. It's totally bleak music, absolutely mysterious. And what does Beethoven do in his next variation? He just thinks, well, that's life, that's how it is, that's infinity, I've just seen it, I'll just walk away to a gentle minuet. I'm not going to play you the minuet, but I'm going to play you the uh, arpeggios and those wonderful mysterious chords that precede it. Mm -hmm. 